To understand who we are, we really do need to know where we came from. We need to know something about our birth, which took place 13.7 billion years ago. Everything has an origin in this moment. And what we've learned about it is that it, we all began in an amazing eruption of light. The universe began it with light. And the, there were also bits of matter around, but it was, they were so minuscule. We were predominantly light. And then as the universe expanded, it cooled. And so one of the great moments in our birth is the stabilization of matter so that the first forms of elementary particles, protons, electrons, they began to stabilize. And in the middle of the sea of light, the actual components of our bodies emerged. So to be human is to be an extension of that original energy that emerged mysteriously at the beginning of time. Since this is the most amazing discovery, really, in, in all of modern science, it, it took a while for humans to grasp it. And the, a number of physicists were involved, but, but two of them, Penzias and Wilson, um, are the ones that actually identified the light from the beginning of time. This was in the 1960s, it was in New Jersey, and they were the first ones to actually, to actually hear the light from the beginning of time with a radio telescope. So it was, people had theories in mathematical physics about the universe, but when we, we had the observational data, it came together with the, our theories of the universe, and we realized that there was this beginning of the universe was something that was empirically uh, grounded. And so now it is a, a common uh, understanding among all scientists that the universe did begin in light 13.7 billion years ago. After the elementary particles stabilized, the, the great moment in the universe of our birth was the formation of the atoms. And this took place uh, all at the same time, not in an instant, but the universe set about changing itself from a, one form of matter to another. And so all of these atoms, the light atoms of hydrogen and helium came into existence. And then these atoms, began to gather together and form the first stars. And so this is even 200 million years after the birth of the universe, the stars come forth. And the star is this amazing event because the star brings together the atoms and it actually changes them. It changes the helium into carbon. It changes the hydrogen into helium. And in that change, it transforms the mass of the atoms into light. So the universe begins in light, and then it forms these 
structures, stars, where mass is also transformed into light. So this is part of the ongoing evolution of the universe. Now, through, throughout most of history, we had different uh, theories about stars. Uh, sometimes we thought they were gods, and, and then uh, Isaac Newton thought actually each star was a giant campfire. It was, it was wood burning, but it was in the, the middle of the 20th century that we learned this process, this fusion process that takes place in stars. And what we realized is that the stars actually don't live forever. They're not eternal. They, they have a birth, they have a middle age, and they have a death. And the death of a star is what is so uh, amazing to reflect on because the, the star, if it's large enough, will go through a process in its core of developing all of the elements. So the star starts, starts off as hydrogen and helium, and then it creates carbon in its core, and then it creates oxygen, and then it creates phosphorus. All of these are being built up over billions of years. And then it finally gets to iron. And iron itself cannot burn. So the, the star is no longer able to hold back the gravitational collapse. And so in, the, in an amazing moment, an entire star collapses down to a point in just over a second. And this, this collapse and then an explosive rebound uh, it's called a supernova. But what happens in the rebound is what is so amazing. The, all of the elements that had been created in the star are now dispersed out into the galaxy. And those elements then can gather together into new stars. And so we, all of us, come out of the explosion of a star because the carbon of our bodies, for instance, could not be created in the universe except through this process of a star fusing its elements. So we are composed then of the, if you like, sacrifice of the star. To make a single atom of carbon, an entire star had to be destroyed. It's one of the deepest mysteries in the universe itself. So what does it mean to be human? Who are we? In terms of the universe, we are a later phase of a transformational process that requires enormous sacrifice and yet gives birth to the possibilities for new complexity to emerge. We are, we are the human phase of that. And just as we see what the star has given birth to, we participate in that with a sense of, of mystery concerning what we can give birth to. <laughs> 